How's it going guys? It's Sean with Virtual Gladiators again. I'm here to talk about how to upload a world, um, whether that be region files, world files, the entire world, uh, sections of it, player data, anything really. It's, it all falls into the one category. So uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do here for you is pull up, uh, I'm going to show you how to do this. First we've got to pull up the Multicraft panel. Or you could use your FTP. I don't, I'm not sure if you've uh, watched our other tutorial videos on FTP file access. Um, but you can use your third party FTPs to do this, or you can use the FTP through the Virtual Gladiators website control panel. So, again, we're going to go to virtualgladiators.com. And then you're going to go log into your control panel. Let me log out here. You're going to click on login and you're going to type in your email, not your name, but your email. Then you're going to type in the password that you created when you joined Virtual Gladiators or purchased your product. And hit stay logged in because we might be in here for a minute. I'm going to hit login. Um, now, I have three servers. You might have one or two or four, um, whatever preference you have, how many servers you got. This works for all of them. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to click on one of your servers. You're going to go down to files, go over to FTP file access, and then you're going to type in your password. Alright, and then it uh, brings up all your folders, plugins, everything for your server. This is all the hearts and guts of your server. Um, what you're going to want to go into is right here, here's the main file for your world. Now this will appear on the first page. This is the root um, part of your server where all the main stuff is stored. Um, so your world file will appear here. Now if you, you don't see the world file, it might be because you haven't actually started your server. However, I'm pretty sure um, the great guys at Virtual Gladiators will already start the server for you. That way, the world's ready and set for you to go as soon as you logged in. Um, if not, all you got to do is hit start or restart on the uh, control panel back here. Just hit start or restart, and it will auto generate that world file. Um, so let's go back into FTP file access. Now, um, so if you want to, let's say you have a world you've you've created in, you know, your own single player, your own single player world or something, you want to upload it into your, um, into your world, as your world. In order to do that, unfortunately, you would have to, um, there's a combination of things you can use to get things into worlds. Um, as for just an entire world in its own that you've created beforehand, you're going to have to upload the entire world file. In order to do that, you're going to come over here to upload while you're in the screen. And then uh, it already has the upload directory set. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, what you're going to want to worry about, don't worry about this unless you're uploading an archive to upload and unpack. Files to upload, you want to choose the file. And let me head over here. I do not think I have any video or world files on my desktop as of now, but if you do have a world file, what you got to do is you got to pull it out of your uh, Minecraft folder, wherever your world file is located in your saves, and uh, you're going to pull it out to your desktop or whatever um, location you want to do. You're going to hit choose file, and you're going to find that file through your computer. When you find it, just click on it. It will add it to right here. It'll show the file name and the file type, and then you hit submit. And as you submit, world files, because of their regions and their size, depending on if you're the only one playing it or if there's five or six people that are playing it with you, world files can vary in size. Now, it also depends on your internet upload speed. If you have good upload, um, then it'll go by pretty quick. If you have really low upload, such as one megabyte a second, it's going to take a while. Um, the longest part to upload is the region files. Region files compile of many different things that make the world the world, um, such as buildings or 
landscapes or mountains. Everything in a region file is what makes a world work. Um, and as you travel throughout your world, it automatically generates new regions um, as you go through that world. And it will automatically save them into your world file. So once, you, once you've gotten done submitting and it uploads, it'll show down here if you're using Google Chrome, your upload status. Um, all you got to do is click back. And you're going to make sure that you see the world right there. It should be... Um, should be right below timings or plugins or right above version, but you'll see the world in there somewhere. Now, to double check to make sure everything's been uploaded correctly, you're going to click on World. And now, disregard the DIM negative 1, DIM 1, NEI. Well, don't disregard the NEI, but the DIM negative 1 and 1, um, that's for my server only. It's for, uh, we, we run a massive mod packs on my servers. And so, DIM 1 is different different worlds within the overworld. Now that gets into depth and I can go on for hours about modded mod you know mod packs, large mod packs, world files, everything. But it gets pretty uh advanced when you're getting into mod packs um such as FTB Unleashed, it can be pretty extensive the amount of configuring you need to do. Um uh, anyways, don't pay attention to these two up here. What you're going to want to pay attention to is uh, NEI, COFH, Data, Players, and Region. And then you're going to have anything that is included in whatever mod pack, whether you're running Spigot, Vanilla, um, anything, it'll show up right here. You need the level.dat, disregard the level.dat old, you need the UID.dat, session.lock, forcedchunks.dat, and NEI.dat. Mod flags, I'm not sure if that appears in a vanilla. Now, I do have a vanilla server, but I uh, I highly doubt it's in there. Um, let's see. So as long as you have all these, all these files, except for the ones I said disregard, you should be good. And what you need to do after you upload it, by the way, make sure your server is stopped. Um, before you do all this, make sure it's stopped, dead in the water. And uh, while you upload all this, it prevents any kind of um, early load, crashing. Um, like it gives the server a chance, basically, to get all the files it needs to create the world. So you're going to go back. When it's stopped, most of the time I hit restart. You can hit start. As far as I know, I can't tell the difference between a start and a restart. Uh, they both do the same thing. I know the restart turns it off and then back on. Um, so I guess if it's at a stop, it would make more sense just to click start. Um, again, it, it all depends on you. Restart doesn't change anything. It just cycles it through once more. Um, so once you hit restart, the CPU will hit 100%. That's fine. That's normal. In fact, your TPS is probably at 20, which is 100%. Now, and your memory will fluctuate a little bit when you restart. You're going to want to... Uh, this will jump back down, all the way down anywhere from 5 to 10%, depending on mod pack size. Um, if you're running Unleashed, it might jump up to 26 um, after it's done loading. But it'll, these are all normal levels. Don't ever panic by the CPU usage. It's just a general uh, figurehead, I guess I could say. Um, but yeah, so that's how you upload an entire world file. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the FTP. And I'm going to show you guys, I'm basically killing two birds with one stone. I'm going to show you how to, if any of you are familiar with MC Edit, it's a Minecraft editor tool where you can edit or add in building structures, um, add in maps, cities, all sorts of stuff. I actually use it a lot in my Unleashed server and my Infamy server. What you do is you're going to uh, create things in MC Edit, and then you save them and you put them into your files, I suggest looking into up a tutorial on how to use MC Edit. That will help you a lot on YouTube. Um, but what you're going to do once you figure out how to use MC Edit, you save your world, you save your structure, whatever you need to do. Um, you're going to uh, once you get that world file sa saved. There's a trick to it, and I learned this just recently by one of the VG staff here with us that. Uh, you don't have to re-upload an entire world file to be able to add in 
certain structures you've added to your world. Um, it actually, all you need to do is go into regions or the region folder right there. Wait for it to load here. All right, hold on one sec. Could be having an internet issue. Usually happens around this time of day. We go back into the world, region. Might be because it's a massive region. Um, so like I said before, the larger the region, the longer it's gonna take to load things up. Even in third-party FTP file access, it will take a while. All right, cool, here we go. So it's pulling up my region files. It'll take a second because of how many files there are. Um, also, as I mentioned earlier, there's when you're dealing with world files, the regions are the heart of uh, your world. Without those, it wouldn't work. So there's going to be a lot of them. Every place, every chunk that you guys go into uh, with your Minecraft character it will load a new region. Um, so that's something to keep in mind if you're setting up a restricted server or something of that nature. <clears throat> I apologize for the wait on this. Maybe the server's down or issues. I'm not sure. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is it's the same way to go about things. You're going to go into that region file, but I'm going to show you my third party FTP file access. It's a fail safe for if the website's down or you know they're fixing something. You can go into here. So all you got to do is it's the same exact thing as on the website, just a little bit different. You just double click on your world, double click on region, and take a second once again. All right, I digress, I suppose. For some reason, it does not want to load that. Uh, it's not Virtual Gladiator to site. It's probably my internet connection. I apologize. However, I will show you how to do it. Just we won't go through all the steps, so you won't be able to see in depth as much as I would like you to. Um, okay, so now that we've got that out of the way, the region, what it's going to pull up is it's going to pull up... Uh, let me see if I can't access one of my files here. Hmm. Never mind, I know where I can find it. Infamy, Minecraft, saves, new world. There we go, region. All right, so this is what your regions look like. Finally, I'm able to show you this. <laughs> All right, so you're going to see regions like this, and they're going to be numbered, uh, different numbers for each region. Now, um, when you pull up your other, you know, in the server multicraft, you're going to see hundreds of these probably, uh, especially if you have players on, you're going to see a lot of them. So uh, what you're going to do is when you edit things in MC Edit, it timestamps it. And this is what I learned from one of the VG staff that I was telling you about earlier. Um, it'll timestamp it right here, the date and the time exactly when it, when you created that file. Now, when you take a world file off your desktop or wherever you pulled it and you edit the regions in it, it will automatically add those regions in from MC Edit and it will timestamp them. So all you got to do is, let's say these are the new region files. So you take these, you highlight them, and you move them to your desktop or download location and you upload only these regions into that region file and it will update your server, restart it, and boom, you'll have the new structure, the new building, whatever you whatever you put in there will be in there now. Um, so that's how to do that. If you guys have any other questions or any other concerns, feel free to support a support ticket. 
or submit a support ticket and uh, and feel free to contact us on live chat if we are available on live chat and we will be happy to assist you and we hope you enjoy your servers and look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks guys.